Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the Unity user interface. I'm not going to be going into a lot of specifics over each individual part. That will actually be broken down into individual videos. My goal here is to point out the primary locations of everything, tell you what each thing is, just kind of a quick, the interface at a glance is a great way to describe it. Right, just to get you comfortable with what is on the screen so you don't feel overwhelmed. And we're going to break it down into little pieces. So we show you each little part, but we're not going to go in depth on any one of them right now. That's right. Now, a couple of things. If you've just opened up Unity for you know, the first time or something close to the first time, it's entirely possible that what you are seeing looks a lot more like this with just a plain gray interface and not much going on here inside this window. Uh, what I have a an actual world open up, a scene opened up, just to make certain aspects of what I'm pointing out make a little more sense. If you don't have a scene to open up, uh, you could you know, go create one using the, uh, the videos that we've put together over building a level, or just wing it, because I'm not going to do anything too complicated. But it does help, or at least I think it helps, if we've got something to show here to at least point out that this is you know, something like a viewport. Yeah, we don't have that big, scary, gray area of potentiality. That's right. So. Other thing, before we really jump into it, if you are seeing your general layout, if you take a look at the locations of certain panels and things, uh, you might notice, it, it's possible anyway, that your Unity looks different than mine. Maybe you have some panels in different locations, it's possible you've dragged some stuff around, which is easy to do, and uh, if you're completely new to Unity, you might not know how to put those back. So what I'm going to recommend to you, before you start following along with a lot of my videos over the interface, is that you go under the Layout drop-down. Now this is hiding in the upper right-hand corner of the Unity interface, little Layout drop-down, and come down to Revert Factory Settings, and click on that. You will get a warning, it says Unity is about to delete all window layout and restore them to their default settings. Go ahead and click Continue, and that will put Unity in the exact state that mine's in. Right. As we'll, it point things out. What we're trying to do is make sure that what you see on your screen is as close as possible to what we're showing. So when we say go to the right to look at the inspector, or go to the bottom and look for the pro the project um, view, view yeah. you actually will find those in the same places that we're, we say. That's right. And if you know you've already moved things around and you're comfortable that you can make the following, you know, the various associations, good for you. But again, I wanted to throw that out there if it makes you feel better to have the exact same thing on your screen. Now, without any further ado, the various parts of the Unity interface. I always start out with viewports. If I'm ever in an application that has a viewport, the viewport is always the first thing I point out because to me it's like the most important thing. It allows you to see into your gaming world. Well, and especially when you have a level loaded up, it, it's the first thing that's going to draw your eye into it. That's right. So this great big section that dominates uh, the upper portion of your UI is going to be your viewport. Now, viewports come in a couple of different flavors, and we'll explore viewports, how to navigate them, the various functions you find inside of them, in a separate video specifically over viewports. The important thing for you to know is this great big area here is your viewport, and that its purpose is to show you what it is you're working on. Now, at the very top of the Unity user interface, you have a main menu bar. Now, many programs you've used, I'm sure, have a main menu bar. Almost all of them that I've ever used. Though. Almost all of them. I'm sure there's a few that don't, but for the most part, they all do. So I'm sure you're used to seeing this. However, some of the menus you're going to be using uh, pretty often are things like the Assets menu, the Game Object menu, and the Component menu. And I'll be explaining what each one of those does, along with all the others, in their own videos. It's enough for you to know that you do have a main menu bar, and unlike some programs I could mention, the main menu bar here is pretty important. And you will probably find yourself using this uh, quite a bit. Down from here, we have the main toolbar. Now this toolbar doesn't have a whole lot on it. On the left hand side, we have some transform tools to allow us to uh, to move things around, to move the camera. We'll talk more about what all these functions do, but we have like move, rotate, and scale, that sort of thing. And if you come to Unity from any background in 3D applications, you're already really familiar with those concepts. If you're not, don't worry. We're going to make them all clear over uh, the next several videos. Now uh, we also have some controls over how objects will be moved, whether they'll be moved in their own local space, uh, how their pivot will behave. In the middle of the toolbar, we have some of the, the most important buttons on the entire interface. Uh, probably the most important button, we have the play button, which allows us to actually test out our level right here inside the editor. And right now, I am playing this game. In fact, you can probably hear some wind blowing and all sorts of cool sound effects. In a moment, it, you see, it'll start snowing and all sorts of things like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit play again to stop that, but this is a very important part of the interface you're going to be right. using a lot. 
Now, on the right-hand side, we have uh, the, the layers and layout drop-downs. I'm not going to get into these right now, but they are pretty important to allow you to control what you see on the screen at any given time. And you already saw a little bit of what the, the layout drop-down does, allowing you to, at the very least, revert to your factory settings. Now, those out of the way, I'm actually going to jump. We've taken a look at the viewport, the main menu bar, the main toolbar. I'm going to jump to the bottom, roundabout center of your, uh, your interface, to the project view. Now, the project view allows you to see all of the different bits and pieces of your project, all the various assets and, uh, and game objects that you have access to, all of your prefabs. Think of it like a library. It's a library of all the things that you have in this particular project that you can pull into your game. That's right. It doesn't mean that it is in your game, but it's available for you to use into your scene if you choose to. It's kind of like the hardware store. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, to the left of the project view, we have the hierarchy view. Now, the hierarchy view may, in some cases, look a lot like the project view at a glance, but the difference is the hierarchy view actually shows you what is in your game right now. Yep. It, it is the things that you have pulled from the project uh, view and put into your game. And the really the kind of spooky thing about the hierarchy view is, as you get into more advanced ways to use Unity, especially through scripting bits and pieces objects will start appearing in here that you didn't put in. They'll start appearing during gameplay and disappearing during gameplay. Uh, this view tends to come alive while you're playing your Unity games. Especially once you start doing a lot of scripting, instantiating objects and prefabs all at one time. That's right, but the big key difference I want to drive home here is that the bottom of your interface shows your project view on the right, your hierarchy view on the left. And the difference between the two is that your project view, again, is like your library. Those are all of the different assets you can draw upon to build your game, where the hierarchy view is everything that is already in your game. Mm -hmm. Now, on the right-hand side, you have this great big long panel, which more or less dominates the entire right-hand side of your monitor. This is called the inspector. Now, if I select anything in my, in my scene right now, the inspector is going to come to life. And the whole purpose of the inspector is to give you access to the properties and uh, various controls of whatever it is you have selected. Right. It's context sensitive. So depending on what you have selected, the inspector is going to change appropriately. A lot of things are going to be in common, such as the transform part of the inspector. Pretty much any game object has that part. But the other things listed in this case where you see like the train script, train collider, train toolkit, or toolkit, those are actually components, and those will vary depending on what you've selected. That's right. This view, this particular view, the inspector, is going to change a lot while you work with Unity. But it's always there for the same reason. It's to expose access to the various properties of whatever it is you happen to be working with at the time. Now, that's pretty much it for the key aspects of the Unity interface at a glance. So just a real quick from top to bottom overview, we have the main menu bar, we have the toolbar, we have the viewports. Now notice the viewports have their own toolbar, but it's still technically part of the viewport. We have the project view in the middle. We have the hierarchy view on the left. And we have the inspector on the far right. And that is the Unity interface at a quick glance, which wraps up this video.